Assalamu alaikum everyone. Welcome back to our channel. This is your host Armaghan Zidun and we are back with another video. Media 2.0 and how AI is reshaping our careers. In regards to our previous video that how AI was affecting your mental health, this is going to be an adjacent video. I'm going to leave the link on top here in the show cards that if you have not watched my previous video, be sure to watch it. So, what is Media 2.0? So basically, Media 2.0 was the start with the advent of internet. Yes, World Wide Web, or as you may know it as the search engines Google, Yahoo, Firefox. Yeah, these linears were the last who used Firefox. Drop a like if you have ever used Mozilla Firefox as well in your life. Those were the days. Mozilla Firefox being Yahoo, Google. These were the main giants of the search engine and these were the giants who shaped up the current era of internet and AI because if you think about it Google was the first sort of an AI you asked it and it delivered you like not just Google any search engine that I mentioned just recently so what are we talking about today that how AI has changed and reshaped our careers. With the advent of AI, many people have thought that they have lost their jobs, they have lost their roles and their AI is taking over their, you know, work. As we discussed in our previous video that how AI is affecting your mental health. So this is one of the reasons that some people think that AI is taking over their jobs and is taking over their careers. No, that's not it. Yes, AI is reshaping you, but it's not taking over your career. Let's just go back a little bit and Take it from the top. What is Media 2.0? It is basically a collective structure of data or an ecosystem, you may call it, or as you used to call it, a global village. Our internet, our entire community, it has turned into a global village. What is a global village? A global village is like when all of us are connected wirelessly through internet. So what has this global village enabled us to do it has enabled us to do everything like with the snap of a finger the power of the universe in the palm of my hand that's the kind of scenario that we have right now internet has enabled us to get the information from around the globe in one single click to get details about anything with one single click watch my video with one single click subscribe my video with one single click so what is this revolution or global village mean for us? It means that we are leaving our traditional ways of communication behind and moving to a more dynamic outlook of life. What does it mean? So if we take a look back, we used to read newspaper for news. Now we don't. We used to watch television for shows. Now we don't. We used to write letters to communicate, to talk. Now we don't. We used to meet in person. Now we video chat. So these are all the points which were traditionally utilized, used, but now they have become a word of the past. So in essence, all of these advancements can be categorized as AI. You may ask how? Yes. Google tells us everything that we want to know. YouTube shows us everything we want to know. News channels have made their own websites. Other content writers have they made their own websites. You can browse through anything, be it animal related, be it food related, be it travel related. That is you asking an AI or an artificial intelligence to give you what you want. So for me, that's work of an AI that I don't have to put in any efforts and I get the results. So how do you think? This all fits into our current life. Now, where am I going with this? Just pause the video for a second. Think about it. And let me know in the comments that what do you think. So let me tell you about it. How AI is reshaping our current society. AI has sort of taken over the minimal labor which a normal human being was doing. It has made our life easier and faster. AI is right now performing those minimal tasks that you struggle with day in and day out. It is allowing you to perform numerous calculations within seconds. It 
is allowing you to edit your videos the simple sort of editing like making it's not too much and it can never reach the level of a professional but it will give you the necessary amount of time to speed up your creative process or the task that you're performing let's take the example of an accountant's job how does ai perform or help him out so what does an accountant do i have no idea but let's say i do an accountant's job is to write certain numbers to analytics of the company generate a report and just let company know where their financial losses and gains are now the ai can help that account perform its job much faster and efficient the job a manual labor could do in like 8 to 12 hours now ai can help him or her to do that job in like 4 or 5 hours that extra amount of time can be utilized on another task so it is you who needs to understand that how you are going to use ai for your work capabilities as a video editor i have induced ai in my life i have utilized ai in my life in my editing work sense i use ai constantly to save time and make my content more creative and focus on what to create at the moment my content might not be that good but leave you me it will get better and with the best editor i'll get better at storytelling as well but right now you have to bear with me so what i was saying was that let's talk about video editing and graphic designing which are my field of expertise right now that in video editing i use numerous ai for example let's talk about 11 labs and velset those are the two voice over website that i use for my face lessons i will not disclose them at the moment but yeah i'm also trying to run an experiment on a faceless youtube channel as well and how well that goes and aside from i'm trying to continue this one and aside from let's talk about the editing part of an actual video adobe has caught up to most of the ais in our current global ecosystem and it is constantly updating itself like the basic editing system which used to take me hours and hours of editing time for a simple 20 and 20 minutes video it i used to take like 2 to 3 hours just to remove the pauses because it takes that amount of time but right now adobe has introduced its pause removal and filler word removal which can be utilized to save my time and i can use that time to work on making the video in the creative department but so these are just small examples that how ai is shaping our um, work industry it is not not just video editing and graphic designing you can use it for script writing you can use it for web designing wordpress is a good example of uh, how ai or like basic integrations can help you out in making your work much faster and easier website developers use wordpress designing for making their work a lot faster a lot easier but you know it can never compare to the actual amount of effort and efficiency which a programmable website can offer now you might say that wordpress is not type of an ai yes it's not type of an ai but you know it's baseline form of what an ai does right so yeah what do you think an ai is for me an ai is something that helps you perform your task much faster much easier and much more efficiently so that's what i think ai is So in that sense, WordPress and even this smartphone is an AI. So yes, AI has reshaped our lives and our careers. It is placed and can be found in all of our departments, from a mechanical engineer to a doctor to a software engineer to a hardware engineer to a designer to a director to whatever. You can be of any field line. You cannot escape AI. What is your role right now in this current era? What you need to do is that you need to stop running from AI and start making AI your friend. Start reading articles, start watching YouTube videos, start reading journals, start browsing through websites. Just fill your head with how you can make your work easier with an AI. Let me know in the comments that what your profession is, and I will try to find um, relevant AI features or AI plugins or. applications that can help you out in your current business model or job or whatever you are planning to do and yeah we will help each other and grow together so why am i telling you to be up to date with current era of ai because i know and 
you know as well that in the near future AI is going to be part of your life and we cannot escape this reality so it's better to stay in the game rather than stay behind the game and better yet stay ahead the game because if you are at number two right now and you say that you are tired or you don't want to participate and you take a rest or stop running or stop taking part in the race even for five minutes you will lose your spot as number two you might now be at number 50 and it will take you a lot of time to catch up so rather than staying behind just keep on walking keep on grasping things slowly don't need to jump right into it but yeah you need to keep yourself updated because no one is going to wait for you and if you want to learn more about ai you can just let me know in the comments dm me on instagram or let me know what you want to know i can help you out and other resources on google you can find you can also use the help of chat gpt to help you look for how to use ai yeah so with that that concludes our today's video let me know in the comments what you guys think and what you guys want me to do my next video on till then goodbye